Rich, no long time no chat. How are you today, pal? Okay? That's because you don't take my calls when I call in. You're too busy. You got people calling from Canada, Mexico, Hawaii, New York, places over in Europe, all over the world. You like Muhammad Ali, Mr. Jackson, Mr. October. I'm a little busy right now, but if you get back to me at such and such a time, I might find a minute for you. <laughs> you are funny. You're, how you doing? Is everything okay? Uh, everything is okay. If I was doing any better, I'd have to be twins. <laughs> I like that. All right. I know you're a big sports fan. What's your take on the game tonight, Gonzaga and Baylor? You have an opinion? Uh, I think it's going to be a close game. Uh, I'm going to take the points. And uh, I'm looking for a great game, et cetera. And um, I'm going to be quiet and let you ask your questions. Wow. Uh, the Gonzaga-UCLA game the other day. Uh, one of the great sporting events you've seen in a long time, the overtime win for the Zags. Um, I, I thought it was a great game. Certainly, I've I've seen so many great sports games, if you will. Uh, you know, the Mazeroski home run and, and go all the way back to some of those games and with the Willis-Reed game and the, you could call it the Jerry West game and then the Havlicek era, the Magic Johnson with – uh, the 42 points he played pivot. I mean, you, Good there's point, so Richie. many yes. that you could call tremendous games. Uh, the, the smart shot at the end with Indiana, Indiana and Bobby Knight and all that Good kind job. of stuff. There's, I mean, certainly this is an epic, uh, but when you think about the the, the uh, me, Alan Amici game, man, that's going back, bro. You Not know, 58. Ball, yes. Yes, you know, the ice ball. kind of games. Go back that far. Don Larson won a nothing, you know, two to nothing, uh, stuff like that. No hit. It's there's a lot of great games. Certainly, this was one of them for sure. I was kind of laughing when the guy was talking about what he'd have done Monday afternoon here if he'd have been the coach or this or that. And I want and you said like, come on, bro. You know, I can't. You can't ding a guy for that. There's three point three seconds to go. And you're you're about to got a chance to go home or tie game, and then somebody had said you had said, uh, is it the pressure different if it's a tie game, or if if it, and you have the last shot or you're down, right? No, no, no. I've been in all those situations. When you're down, and you drop mail on somebody about 450 feet, you come around and it's walk go home, in a big series or that Chambliss home run. Those are the big moments because you don't want to let it go tomorrow to the game when it's 3-3 or tied up, you know, with three games to three. Now you leave it into the hands of a fluke play. A ball right. hits the base, bounces up. The umpire makes a bad call. It's your fault because you let it get that way. If, when you're up 3-2 to two and you got your foot on the man's neck, make him eat dirt. Keep it on there because if you let him up, he might gnaw your hand off up to your elbow. A hundred percent. What's the best game you ever, in your eyes, what's the best game you ever played in baseball? You got a game that you say to yourself that, you know, that might be, uh, was it the 86 game? I know you lost the game. Was it the 86 Red Sox game five? No, because just like the, the Gonzaga coach said uh, last night, I listened to all the plays, you know, afterwards, and he said it wasn't the greatest game for him because he lost. It wasn't the greatest game for me because we lost, but it was, you know, one of those games in 78 when Gidry uh, walked into the manager's office and Lemons office said, I'm pitching Monday. On oh, that's the, uh, the, oh, the game against yeah. the Red Sox. The game against the Red the game Sox. Against yes, the Red Sox, the Bucky Dent home run. And, and the goose coming in and getting Yastrzemski to pop up, the great play that Canella made in right field, and and and, the, and and there's and there's a few others, you know, of, of games to where we were leading the Red Sox in the late September, and we were up by a half a game, and if they win, they go in a half, but we beat them. That uh, somebody hit a home run, number forty-four hit a home run, the bottom of the eighth, and it turned it around to where it's a two-game swing. Now we're up yes. a game and a half. It's out a half a game. That was you know, the year so before. Those, and those that was game before, yeah. 77. Um, and yeah. folks do yeah. not realize that Reggie hit a home run in the eighth inning in 78 in Fenway where a 4-2 lead became a 5-2 lead 
He hit it out of uh, left center off Bob Stan. I think it was Bob Stanley. He hit it out in Bob left Stan. center. That was okay. Five two. If he doesn't win, hit that home run, we're still playing. Five two Yankees. Right. Red Sox came back five four. Now Reggie, for me as a sports fan, and you know me, uh, uh, watch them all. That's the best yes, baseball sir. game I've ever seen because that game. Oh, you know why? Because that game symbolized the season. That game yeah. was not just a postseason game. That game was 162 games. Both teams, yeah. 99 and 63, first to 100 wins the division. And not only that, yeah, gonna... the winner of that yeah. game wins the World Series. And you guys did. Yeah, That's why that game's the best game. You're right. There's a, you had said to that, do you think that their legs, that somebody will test their legs uh, yeah. tonight and this and that yep. on Gonzaga? on Gonzaga, man, come on. When I was 20 years old, 21 years old in the big leagues, I didn't get tired. Give me a Coke and a Snickers bar, and I'm ready to go, brother. I can sleep all winter. So no, I- no issue with What's fatigue. Time? No issue with fatigue. Wow. No way. No, you better not think that they're tired. You're going to be down 20 to 10. <laughs> and you like and you like Baylor with the points, Reggie. You like the four and a half. I like Baylor with the points. I like Gonzaga to win outright. I like oh, wow. Baylor with the points. I think Baylor is sixth in the nation in offensive rebounds and offensive rebounds, which is kind of what what I like a lot in that in that stuff. Um, um, Gonzaga is down in the forties. Wow! Listen to Reggie. He's on top of this. Wow! 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 All right, let me. Uh... This is a tricky one. Uh, do you think Manfred did the right thing with the All-Star game? Absolutely. I just posted something on um, Twitter uh, about what what he did, and I want to thank him because he's always getting killed all the time. And so, basically, I talked to a good friend of mine, Jeter, a couple of days ago, wanted to see what he said, et cetera. So, um, you know, my thought process there. Uh, goes like this, I'm going to tell you. Thank you, Commissioner Manford, for stepping in front of the players and recognizing it's about getting people to participate in voting, broadening the we factor in our USA. An example of doing the right thing. Any Anything deterring that is wrong. Your actions I support. But you would agree that he probably did this more so because he can't take a boycott of this game. Forget the politics. He can't okay. have an all-star okay. game with the whole team when the whole, and every player doesn't show up and play. That's a disaster, right? You, you, you're, you're, if, if that was his motive, I understand his, his, his reasoning for doing, it that, for doing it this way. And I applaud the players for indicating that they will not show up. It, it's nice. It's usually you're seeing the older guys that don't have much to lose, et cetera. When the young players start talking, I think it's very important because there's so many people now that want to listen. I remember the last, the marches when they started after George Floyd. I was in Monterey. There were more white people in the crowd than black and Latin American and, 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 and indigenous. I, I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed with the fact that so many white people now believe it's for the betterment of the country for us all to get along and for all of us to, to, to be participatory and have diversity in our decisions, which it makes us better. What we it did, Jeter? Make, yeah, we, I, cannot I, the, we cannot cross the bridge without whites helping. Go ahead. Uh, Chris. Uh, did, what did Jeter say when you talked to him? Jeter has posted something. J- J- Jeter posted, and it's 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 a fabulous comment. Um, let, let let me get it here for you and let you guys. Uh, I, I can't. I'm old now because I, I got to blow it up. The act of participating in our country's election process is our civic responsibility and instrumental to our country's foundation. We should promote increasing voter turnout as opposed to any measures that adversely impact the ability to cast a ballot in November. The Marlins proudly set out to to promote the vote 
with our Election Day Feed the Polls initiative, providing meals to voters at our local election, elections and officials conducted free and fair elections. We support the commissioner's decision to stand up for the values of our game and not hold this year's All-Star game in the state of Georgia. They're Jeter, Miami Marlins CEO. I, I do my best to stay in touch with Jeter. He doesn't make many mistakes, especially when he has something to say. And I uh, applaud good. him. Uh, I am going to be in Monterey in May. Take me out to dinner. How about that? Can you do that? You got it. You got it. I have my kid with me. It. College Good. graduation. So, you, 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 Tab, how about a dinner? Uh, can you, one of those great nope. places. That you, you own a joint. How about it? You take one of your cars. You pick me up, and where we go. How about that? No problem. I will take you out, and we will eat at the bench over there in Pebble Beach. <laughs> I, keep in touch, Reg. Always a pleasure. Thanks for a few minutes here today. Thanks, keep it going. Chris. All right, buddy. All right, very good. Reggie Jackson likes Baylor with the points. Gonzaga to win the game. We take a timeout. We continue. We're on Mad Dog on